Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a little gremlin grinder. Now this guy was a red line. I started working on a while ago. I obviously didn't complete it. So I've got this guy apart already. And today I want to kind of mess around with uh, some major sparkly paints. So I'm not sure what kind of uh, what kind of paint job we're going to do on this guy, but it's not going to be the factory green. However, I do have decals made for it, so uh, we can play with that today. I really like the interior on this guy. It looks real comfy. I haven't seen a gremlin in real life for a while. There used to be one at the old uh, driving range around here that uh, was the ball picker upper. You know, it had the wheels in the front and you just drive around and pick up all the balls. So that was pretty cool. That's real good for my childhood. So I've already got this guy drilled. We can start stripping paint and we've got this nasty, nasty looking base on it. 1974. Hong Kong. So this is a little bit of a I wouldn't call it a collector's item. You know, there's lots of these out there. They made a super chrome version. This one was a green version and it barely had any paint on it at all. This is the same car I unboxed when I first opened the channel. So we're going to get this all cleaned up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I want to kind of give it a little bit more of a dragster vibe. So we're probably going to do some custom wheels on this thing. This thing's pretty sweet. One would say it's even swifty. And get this guy back on the road. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to get started on this and uh, see where it takes us. So I still have my lime out from the other day when we did the RV. So we're going to go ahead and dip this body in now. And we'll let this bubble away for probably about four minutes. I try to get a few uses out of each little tub that I mix up just so I'm not, you know, wasting it or whatever. So I'm using aircraft paint remover by Clean Strip. If you guys ever have any questions as to what I'm using, the first place to check is the description of the video. It's got all the good stuff on there. As one of you guys pointed out to me, the uh, the link for this clean strip points to a very expensive lister of the product. And um, nobody in their right mind would pay that much money for it. But the link is there pretty much just so you can... Have an idea of what it is I'm using and you might even be able to pick it up at your local hardware store. But I thought it was better than no link so Alan thanks for the email I appreciate that man. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy all stripped up. I want to absolutely glitter bomb the heck out of this thing and see what happens if I mix all of my glittery Createx paints together all the hot rod sparkles and everything. But mix it all together into one crazy concoction. What's it going to look like? You know, it might look like a rainbow. It might... I don't know what it's going to look like. So that's kind of what I wanted to do today. And then put my, like, factory decals on top of all that. So more than likely, that's what we're going to be doing. I've got so many paints now that Createx sent me a bunch. I just... I'll never get through them all, to be honest. Like, we haven't even touched on any of the metallics. And I probably have... I don't know, 20 or 30 different kinds of metallics. So you shouldn't see too much of the uh, the same color on this channel, I don't think, because we are set up. We're set up for a long time. I'm going to put some drag tires on this bad boy, and maybe some sponsor decals. I'm not sure yet. I just wing it on all these projects. For the most part, I don't have plans. We just jump into it together, and, you know, we just go, we go on a journey. That's kind of how I like it. Yeah, I think I've taken this as far as I need to go. It's starting to look like kind of cream of broccoli, baby food, or something. So I'm going to go clean this up with some hot soapy water and a little brass brush. And then we'll come back and we can do some painting. Almost forgot about our base. This thing's been cooking away for a little bit. Oh, look, see here, give everything a nice scrubbing. want to get it on your lens that's for sure $300 lens dead due to acid damage yeah 
you think of that? Nice and tasty. Brand Nubian. So that cleaned up real nice. So because our lime out is hydrochloric acid based, we need to go in and give this a good rinse with some soap and water. I usually give them a good scrub with a toothbrush just to make sure I get all them little crannies. You don't want to have dirty crannies. So we're going to do that and then uh, we'll come back and we will move on. Man, that stuff does a nice job just for a regular old bathroom cleaner. A little bit of bumper car damage on the back there, but it's not too bad. Blib, 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 blib. Hell yeah. This is a real cool casting. I like how uh, just how obtuse the motor is. What no schmag in her wheel well, that's for sure. Get out of there, schmag. Jimmy, you've been laying there for two days, man. Man, what you mean? Get a tan. I think the first thing we're going to do is do uh, our white sealer over this whole thing. And that'll probably be the same white that we leave on top, honestly. I don't need to put white on top of white. So I'll probably just do a real nice coat of white sealer on here. And then we'll start taping. A little more schmag. So much schmag, maybe. Maybe a little bit of sanding here. I'm going to use some 3M. Sponge sandpaper, that's 1500 grit. Let's give this thing a good once over to get rid of any of these age spots. It's being from 1974, this thing's older than I am. For the most part, this thing's in pretty good shape. What am I saying? It's in really good shape. Doing a little bit of sanding really just helps kind of get any residue off the car too. So to help out with your paint adhesion. It actually serves more, more function than uh, fashion sometimes. That's all we're going to do there. So I'm going to prep the uh, booth. And then we'll start laying our sealer down and get this thing going. So here's our Audubon sealers. What I'm using for primer. This stuff you can shoot directly onto any kind of galvanized metal basically metal that isn't going to rust on you. If you're doing this on a car, you'd want to use a direct to metal primer before the sealer just so that you can uh, you don't have to worry about your body rusting from the inside out. But on these little cars, you don't have to worry about that. So we can just shoot directly. So we're going to treat this like our paint. So I'm going to lay this on pretty thick because everything else we put on the car after this point is going to be transparent. So I'm going to make sure that we got a real nice coat of this. Okay, so I'm getting ready here to start mixing paint. We've got Hot Rod Sparkle in blue. We've got Cosmic Red Sparkle. We've got Cosmic Sparkle in gold. Cosmic Sparkle in silver. Cosmic Sparkle in blue. Cosmic Sparkle in green. And Hot Rod Sparkle in purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix two batches here. And we'll do this in two steps. So I... <laughs> I'm honestly just curious as to how, how this is going to look on top of white paint. So we're just messing around here a little bit, but all these colors are insane on their own. So I'm really kind of giddy. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I've got this stupid grin on my face right now. 
because it's going to be just absurd. So we've got this mixed together and it kind of looks like pudding or... And then we're going to thin that, the usual kind of 10% per volume till we have a sprayable, goopy man batter. It's so sparkly. I think that's all we're gonna do. We'll let this dry, we'll put our decals on, then we will shoot some clear. Meow. All right, all right, all right. We got our body here. It doesn't really look like much is happening. It's a little bit kind of pearlescent, which is fine because it really dries with uh, a matte finish, maybe like semi-gloss, I don't know. Somewhere in between matte and semi-gloss. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put on my decals that I made. Kind of blast the light out. The little car is so bright. So what I want to do is I want to put on factory style decals. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be cool. I made these. If you guys are interested in how I make decals, I have like a super easy beginner way that I could make a video on. be a quick video. It would be something I could probably even do tomorrow. So if you guys want to see how I do it, all you need is Photoshop and um, you don't really need too much skill. This is taken from an actual car. So it's not like I drew this. So this is pretty well as authentic as you can get. So I'm going to go ahead and get that guy cooking. So as you guys know, this isn't a glossy surface, which is fine. And I find these homemade decals work a lot better if you don't submerge them. So that's where the old Sideways King 75 sponge really comes in handy. I can just soak the bottom for a bit and then I don't have to worry about my ink running or anything. When I use the transparent paper when I'm making these my decal is pretty transparent. So when I put it on white not a big problem. Let me squish all that out of there. So that went on real nice. Just a perfect fit. Oh, get that guy cooking. All right. See, my battery light is on. No big deal. A little bit hard to see, sorry. Everything's so bright right now. I like using scissors for trimming out decals just because uh, the knife seems to curl, curl the edge on the decals sometimes. So I stopped using it and I've had way more success using the little scissors. So Okay, everything's looking real good here. We gotta start thinking about putting some wheels on this thing. I got a pair, you might remember these from the Cougar, wherever the Cougar is, it's out of arm's reach. We got some Who's Your Daddy slicks for the back, however the Gremlin's pretty wide, as you can see. So these aren't going to go on easy, we're going to have to do a, an axle tube today. But I don't want to modify my base because it's kind of a cool car and maybe one day when I'm like 90 I'll want to restore this back to original so 
Gonna make some tubes here. Got some tubing. So what I'd like to do is just drop these in on either side of our factory crimps. Like so. So I'm gonna glue these in. And then I'm gonna come back after and trim them flush with the file. And then we should be able to put in our axles here without too much grief. It'll be something like that, roughly. We'll pull these out for now. We're going to use some ultra gel rather than epoxy. Don't really need it. Epoxy is going to make a big mess. So I'd rather just do it like this if I can. And try to get those as straight as we can. So that looks real good. I'm going to let that dry. And then with our axles here, unfortunately, I'm going to have to snip these, but that's just. Uh, Gonna be the nature of the beast on this one, so get that big booty out of the way. Just snip this around center. We'll just get all these ready, and then once our glue's done drying, we can start installing. In the meantime, let's work on something else. Still got to clean our interior, still got to do our glass. We got to get a hole drilled in our motor so we can reinstall everything. Nice little hole, something like that. I think that's all we need. So this guy, I actually think we're going to dip him in the lime out, which I still have right here. And we'll get this guy looking shiny again. Easy, easy. Lime out is amazing for that. A little windscreen isn't doing so hot, so I'm going to give that a little bit of a wet sand with the sponge. Do, 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 do. The shade of blue is going to be real nice with our paint job. Super paint job on this one. Super. The decals because they were a little bit transparent, ended up looking like, um, looks like they were taped off and painted in kind of sparkly paint, so it's got a real good look to it. It's looking pretty good too. There's a good chunk missing out of there, but not too much we can do about that. Sides look okay, so we'll be able to clean that up and give it a dip in our pledge. No problem. Let's look at this engine. That looks way hey better. High five. Okay, so that's gonna need a good clean. That's gonna need a good clean. Our glue's probably almost done. I'm gonna clean our interior and I'll come back and then we should be able to put our wheels on. Here comes our pledge revive floor polish. We're gonna just dunk this guy right in there. Just set that down over there. Let that do its thing. Give a little house to keep the pubes off it, you know what I'm saying? So my initial wheels I picked out for this were too big. So I had to find some replacements. And they were red lines, so I just flipped the red lines to the inside. 
which is totally cool. That's a common, it's a common practice here. So of course my instinct is to just put some glue on the ends of these axles and stick them in there. But sometimes it's not necessarily the best way. I'm going to try something else today. I believe it's another Time Rider move. If you don't know who Time Rider is, check him out. He's old school Hot Wheels Customs. And what he does is he takes a... I haven't done this and I haven't even seen it being done. I've just heard about it. We're going to cut a hole in the tops of these tubes where we can add our glue to. And it should be a nice clean install. Be just like that. You can see our axle through the hole. We can add our glue there. And then you know everything's secured from the inside. No guessing, you can put a nice little spot where you can put your glue. Check this side. Kind of just putting the axle in to kind of clear the old tunnel out again. So I'm going to do the same thing to the front two tubes and then we will install. Beautiful. So now we got all our passages clear. We can go ahead and put some glue right in our tubes. Like that. You take that a step further and do the Marty and sprinkle a little bit of. Uh, I still don't know if it's baking powder or baking soda. It seems like he's. Seems like it switches every week. I think it's baking powder. You guys can correct me in the comments. So we're just gonna let this dry how it is, and we're gonna do the final assembly. Okay, I think we are dry here. So I wanted to do these headlights in a yellow like I did on the Nova. I thought it gave it a good look. And on this car, since it's got yellow decals, it's going to give it that tough kind of bloop, 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 bloop. We'll try out a wash on the grill. This is supposed to be black, but it sure doesn't look very black. What it is I'm doing... Dad's kind of shaky today. I have to have my, my, my medicines. I wouldn't call that black, but I mean, it looks kind of dirty. I'm not, I don't mind dirty. Yeah. Looks kind of used, used and old. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. It's time, it's time. Need a little teeny turner. Need one gorgeous body. One factory black interior. One custom. I'm going to put this back screw in first because we got to put our engine in. Like a glove, get this engine in. Just perfect lineups on the posts on this car. I'm very pleased. Very pleased with this one. You ready for this beast? Decals, everything look good. Let me turn down the ISO a smidge. So knock it back down into a realistic lighting. I think everything turned out real good. Real good. I'm really feeling it. I'm really enjoying this car. We'll get this guy up on the little rotisserie here so we can uh, try to get the right lighting so we can look at our sparkles. 
the key here is to uh, apply just the right amount of light. Let the camera do the rest. Seeing them sparkles, boy. Looks like that decal is painted on. It's cool that these decals turned out to be transparent because now you can see the glitters through them, which is pretty uh, interesting. I know it's so hard to get the shot. That doesn't show up too, too bad. It looks so much better in person, you guys. So much better in person. It's got to show it off at a distance <laughs> with the lights half out. Yeah, check out my ride, guys. Like what I did with this one. I really enjoy this body style. I love the big engine. You know it'd be fast. You know, this thing would be an absolute death trap. I really like this car. I think it's going to be one of my treasures. So I hope you guys like this video. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you in the next one. Bloop, 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 bloop.